what's up guys? How's everyone doing? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the brains and the benefits and the differences of those who are active versus those who are not active. Uh, I know for myself, uh, if I wasn't active, I would go crazy. That don't mean I, I, I have to cycle. That doesn't mean I have to do one or the other, this, that, or the other. But if I wasn't active, if I didn't do something to challenge myself, I would go probably more insane than what I am. Um, I, I know for a fact that people like myself and even people that are more above me and uh, people that are way below me, we're all wired differently. Um, I know people that literally do nothing at all except go to work, come home, sit around, eat Doritos, watch TV, smoke, drink, fart, burp, and that's it. And I don't know how they do that. I, I, the, the fact that people are that different just blows my mind. Like, you would think that everyone would want to stay challenged in some way shape or form um, I don't know what causes people to be so different but it's it's either in you or it's not or you have to work on it every single day to put that drive in you um, we're gonna talk about a couple of ways that uh, being active can help you uh, exercise affects the brain in many ways it increases heart rate which pumps more oxygen to the brain it aids the release of hormones which provide an excellent environment for the growth of brain cells it helps fight um, weight gain it helps fight depression and anxiety it can help and even reverse the effects of diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and a host of other things. And I even believe that it can probably help with the likes of cancers. Not putting that out there, I'm not a doctor, but I'm just saying that it might could even help with that type of stuff. And if not actually help it, at least help you mentally. However, the exact opposite remains true for those who are not active. Uh, physical inactivity affects your entire body, both inside and out. Uh, not getting the normal recommended 30 minutes of exercise a day can lead to many disorders, including muscle atrophy, osteoporosis, blood clots, type 2 diabetes, depression, a weakened immune system, and even constipation. We don't want any of that, and we definitely don't want constipation. So, what separates us? What makes one person driven to have to have that feeling, those endorphins, uh, that rush, versus people who don't? What separates us? Let's see if we can come up with some things on that. So guys, what separates people that need to be active versus those that don't? Well, it's hard to say, but my opinion is active people like a challenge. Um, they have a feeling of accomplishment. They might even compete with others and feel a sense of being the best or they might just compete with themselves for personal reasons for personal gains uh, maybe they like the feeling of that that high that they get um, mentally uh, many love the pain it gives and physically uh, pushing yourself and then pushing yourself 
past that breaking point. Uh, there's so many factors and chemical differences and makeups, it's hard to examine and pinpoint. I do have a few notes wrote down here. Um, and these are all just my thoughts and opinions on it and what you hear and, and all that over the years. Um, inactive people in most cases have been an inactive most of their lives, even as children. Uh, in their mind, they simply find their daily tasks as working out enough, as being active enough. They don't crave that pain, that extra pain. Uh, their minds and bodies look at that as torture. Uh, why be active when I can sit and rest? Doing any foreign movements or straining, sweating, feeling uncomfortable sets off an alarm in their minds as this is not right, we need to stop this. <clears throat> At the end of the day, people are simply, simply wired differently. And the only real cure and secret is to make yourself exercise and get active. Then and only then will you finally break out of your comfort zone and get those endorphins and chemicals bursting and active. Sticking to it daily is as mentally challenging and draining as the activity itself. Doing any exercise, be it cycling, weight training, walking, jogging, tennis, basketball, anything that puts that stress on your body physically and mentally is more mental challenging than it is physically. I know, I've been doing it for years, it's way more mental. Ultimately, it's up to each of us to try and better our lives, not only for ourselves, but for our loved ones. Um, these are just my simple, to the point, off the head opinions and uh, uh, differences and comparisons in that to inactive versus active and uh, the, the changes that it gives you uh, physically and mentally, emotionally, uh, even sometimes spiritually. And I don't mean spiritual in necessarily the Christian or other type of spiritual uh, feeling you might meet. Yeah, you might think. Uh, I mean more of just that spirit inside of you, that, that feeling. Um, so guys, that's, you know, the best, the best thing that I can tell you is to get up and try. Uh, or as I like to say all the time, get up, get out, get red, do it to it. You have to take the first steps, okay? Not only will you feel better mentally and physically, but it also helps to strengthen your immune system. It also helps to strengthen your bones. Uh, it gives you a sense of accomplishment. You feel good about yourself. And the thing is, don't make it torture. Don't make it, you know... Uh, something that you don't look forward to. Look at it as fun and act and uh, and a uh, fun activity. Make it fun. It doesn't have to be. Uh, it doesn't have to be punishment. <laughs> I'll put it that way. It's all in how you look at it. There are countless days during the week that I don't want to go for a bike ride. Countless. I can't tell you how many, but mentally, if you stay strong, and the whole time that your brain is saying, I don't want to do it, I don't want to do it, and it's coming up with 10,000 different reasons to not go out, you just keep moving, keep putting on your clothes, keep putting on your shoes, put on your helmet, and you get out the door, and you're gone. That's the same thing with going to the gym, or working out at home, going for a walk, job, whatever physical activity uh, you choose to do or any combination of all, you have to remain mentally strong and eventually it becomes uh, easier. 
you start finding yourself getting past that point a little easier. Like your mind stops all the negativity a little quicker. And once you get out, you're gone. You're done. You're getting it done. And there's no real turning back. If you do, you still, especially if you're walking, jogging, or riding a bike, you're still going to get some distance and time out there. So you might as well just keep going. Been plenty of days like that with me. Plenty. I mean, I've been nearly in tears. I didn't want to go so bad. But you make yourself do it. And when you get out there, and even when you get back, you're so much happier. You feel accomplished. You feel happy. You feel proud. You feel like you've uh, uh, you've won the battle between the mind and body connection. You've beaten it. Well, guys, I hope that you find some of this information helpful and inspiring. I hope you find all my videos somewhat inspiring. I try to keep things kind of different and uh, changing up on here from movie reviews to art, photography, cycling, discussions, video games, etc., etc. All right, guys, don't forget what we always do. Get up, get out, get red, do it to it. And be the best you can be every day you can do it. We'll see you guys later. Now get out there. Guys, and another thing. You know I promote being active and all that on my channel. At the same time, you also know that I promote art, photography, video games, putting a puzzle together, doing a crossword puzzle, uh coloring, painting, all that stuff, I promote all of that, and not that those things are going to take place, uh, take, uh, take the, the, yeah, take the place of, you know, exercise, uh, they are good for the mind, body, and soul, and doing everything in moderation together makes you a better, stronger, more well-rounded, all-around, happier person. Uh, keeping yourself active in many different forms, many different ways and paths, uh, I believe is uh, the true uh, way to keep yourself totally happy and uh, and more uh, interesting. And and uh, anyway, that's how I just wanted to uh, clarify on that at the end of this video. Uh, to make sure that you know that there are many forms of ways to get up, get out, get ready, and do it to it that I always promote on this channel. Reading books, making music, doing anything like that to keep yourself going and motivated to get through the next day. Add in some physical activities and you're good to go, guys. So thanks for watching.